Hi guys, it's me Danielle Danny Buttons and I'm here today to do Meg's from Meg Art Atrium's Christmas coloring tag. I had to scroll to make sure that was the title. So Meg has been teasing us that this tag was coming for months. So I like specifically left a spot in my schedule to do this tag and I'm so glad it is here and that I get to do it. So right now I'm filming on the second, but you're not seeing this till the eighth. So I'm gonna tag people, but I'm not sure if by the time mine's up, they'll already be tagged. I'm sorry about that. But you know, when I had to plan months in advance, I gotta fit it in where I can. But anyway, I'm filming out of 50, I'm coloring out of 50 Christmas miniatures by Camelia Inchakova. This just came to the mail for me about half an hour ago. I already uploaded my flip through and now we're gonna color in it right away. And I'm gonna tag people first because it'll make sense. All right, so I am tagging Emily from Color Me Impressed, of course. I just always tag my girl, Emily. Then I'm tagging Kathy from Spicy Cat Colors because she loves being tagged and I love tagging her. And I also know that sometimes because of her schedule, she's late to the game. So I feel like since I'm late to the game posting this, then maybe it'll make sense because she'll be late to the game too. So I hope that you take that as a compliment and not a diss. And finally, I'm tagging Lily at Art Journey UK because I stayed up until 3 a.m. watching her live stream last night. It was a surprise. I just like was up and I was like, whoa, and then I jumped in there. But I heard on her live stream she wanted to know how to do Camellia Eyes. So I'm gonna pick a page that I need to do some Camellia Eyes and show you how I do it. And we're gonna go from there. So those are the three ladies I'm tagging. Everybody will be linked down below, including Meg, who created the tag, and I'm gonna get right into it. So I am doing a simple page. We're not going too crazy. We only have 14 questions and a bonus. So I wanna try to be able to color the whole thing while we're chatting. So here is our page. It is these mice and it's so cute. And I knew I wanted to color it as I was flipping through. I saw the mice and I was like, this is what I'm gonna do. So this is what I'm gonna do. Uh, I don't really have a plan at like what order to color things. Let me pick out a few colors so I can, uh -huh, that one and we'll pick out a red for our candy canes. I'm always nervous because now this set of Tau Trees is starting to dry out and I don't want that to happen while I'm coloring. And then I need my black. All right, so let's get right into it. Question number one, what is your favorite Christmas tradition? So it's funny because I think by now you will have seen it, but I did a whole video on my favorite Christmas traditions because I just love having Christmas traditions. Um, I do tons of them and I love bringing in new ones. And once we do something once, I'm like, well, that's it, Sam. This is now our tradition. We have to do this every year. So I did do a whole list of my favorites, but some of them include getting new ornaments. Um, Sam and I exchange ornaments every year, or I love to watch all the Christmas movies. I love advent calendars. I think that's what won my list. I should have checked before filming this one, so I matched up, but I love advent calendars. Uh, I love giving gifts and advent calendars is like a little gift every day. So sometimes I'll like make my own advent calendar for Sam, but there's just, there's almost too many to name. And I know that feels like a cop out, but I have answers to everything else. So don't worry, we're just getting started. Just everything's a tradition, I love it all. Let's see. Do you open presents on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? So I always do Christmas Day, always have my whole life, because Santa brought everything. Like he, Santa stopped at our house, Santa stopped at my grandparents' house, Santa stopped at my aunt's and uncle's houses. Every present was from Santa and he brought them Christmas Eve, so I opened them Christmas Day, you know? Now, uh, we go, usually, or historically, we go to Sam's family on Christmas Eve and then my house Christmas Day. So I still open Christmas Day. This year we're doing my house Christmas Day and Sam's family the day after Christmas. But the one thing that Sam and I do and have made it our tradition is I love stockings, like opening stocking presents. I just love getting fun little trinkets throughout the months leading up to Christmas and it's like my favorite part. So Sam and I will open our stockings together by ourselves at midnight. 
So is that Christmas Eve or does that count as Christmas Day? I don't know, but that's the only thing we open early and then everything else you gotta wait for. So I used to be, I'm one of those, I am a night owl and I'm terrible at waking up, but my Christmas clock, even to this day, will still wake me up at like 7 a.m. on Christmas morning to open up those presents, so. <laughs> Let me finish this leaf and then we will look at our next question. Okay. Number three, your favorite Christmas food or treat. So I don't know if too many things are like, like as much as traditions I'm into. I have too many backup papers. Hold on. I just put like a whole handful of them. As much as I'm into Christmas traditions, I don't know if there's really any specific food or drink that we have on Christmas. Um, I will say this isn't actually a Christmas food, but it has Christmas origins for me. I have always been a super picky eater and I used to avoid anything like with tomato sauce, which was difficult in my family. And for whatever reason, like it has to be at least 15 years ago at this point, I decided that I would be brave and try my aunt's baked ziti and it was delicious, and now baked ziti is my favorite food. So I always look forward to that on Christmas, but as for like actual Christmas-related foods, I, for the past, I wanna say three or four years, we started making Christmas crack, which is the most delicious cookies. I don't know if they're cookies. I guess it's just a dessert overall, but it is um, saltine crackers with homemade caramel, and chocolate on top and then you like let it harden and you crack it into pieces and it is so good and we very much only allow ourselves to have that on Christmas because it's so good and it's so addicting which that's why it's got like the double double meaning for Christmas crack because it's addicting and you like physically crack it so <laughs> but I love that a lot so that could be my answer Next up, oh my gosh, I just went over everything. Oh, I'm also laughing because Lily is always impressed with my chisel tip, but I'm just too impatient to use the other side. So as you can see, I go over the lines everywhere. It's a mess, but we just have no time. We gotta go. So <laughs> number four, hot chocolate or hot apple cider. I do not like hot apple cider. I love cold apple cider, but not hot. So I am definitely a hot chocolate type of gal. I had my first hot chocolate bomb the other day and it was really, f oh, Noodles is mad. Grumpy dog is walking by. I'm gonna pause, be right back. Okay, I paused the video, but I kept coloring the leaves so we can get through. Yeah, I had my first hot chocolate bomb the other day, which if you haven't seen them, I'm surprised, but it's basically like a chocolate sphere filled with the hot chocolate powder and like marshmallows or whatever else. And it was funny because I usually am just lazy with my hot chocolate and I'll just have it with water from the Keurig, but I wanted to do it nice for the hot chocolate bomb. So I like boil the milk on the stove and I'm having Sam fill it while I'm pouring the milk over and I pour all the milk in and he stops filming. And I'm like, no, that's, you have to watch this part. And he almost missed it. The part where it actually like blooms and I just made me laugh. So I love hot chocolate and I love hot chocolate all throughout the winter. It's like my favorite thing that gets me through the cold January and February months. Like that's our favorite thing. If it snows, we always have hot chocolate when we come back in from shoveling. So definitely hot chocolate. I hope you like long explanations because I'm chatty, so. <laughs> okay, traditional Christmas colors or non-traditional? So I like traditional, but I would say traditional bright, if that makes a difference. So like, I don't like burgundy and I don't really vibe necessarily with like evergreen, but I'm big fan of like bright red and bright green and bright yellow, so. If that's traditional, then I like it. It's, I feel like it's hard because at this point, traditional to me means so many things. I feel like there is the brights, there is the burgundy and deep red, there's like silver and gold. Um, 
There's even blue is tr becoming traditional at this point. But for the most part, I stick with bright green and bright red. Uh, I have two trees and on my bedroom tree, actually my decorating video should have gone up yesterday if everything's going according to plan. So my bedroom tree, we have like lime green ornaments and purple ornaments, but then the main room tree, we have the traditional colors. So there's definitely a place for all of it. But if I could only pick one, I would definitely go traditional, which is weird because I don't like the color red, but this is like the only time that I accept it. <laughs> but I love traditional plus sparkles too. So there's that. Number four. Oh, wait, whoop, whoop. I said four. Number six. Would you be friends with the Grinch? Why or why not? So <sighs> this one's hard because... My initial gut reaction is to say no, but not for the reasons that I think you would think. I would say no, I'm not actually good at making friends. <laughs> so that's why I would say no. Um, I feel like if I had to meet people in person, I have no idea how to make friends with them. So that's why I'm, I'm leaning no. If I could like meet the Grinch online and become friends that way, then sure. like. Especially once he is reformed, I have no problems with him, but I don't, I don't make friends easily. So that's why I, like the coloring community has been so great for me because you're all like virtual best friends and that's a lot easier for somebody as anxious as I am. So I don't know. So I guess, would I? Sure. Do I think that that is likely? Not really. Also, I'm worried. I think this marker doesn't have enough juice in it. I'm gonna have to switch it out. Let's see. I'm just gonna pick another brown and hope for the best. A lot of the browns are pretty similar, so should be fine. Number seven, favorite Christmas present you ever received. So, when I watched Meg answer, I definitely did think about it, but now I've forgotten. So let's think again. Um, what is my favorite Christmas present? I don't know. My dad is good at like big gifts. He always gives out like, I don't know. He just, he gives lots of big gifts. I've gotten many like a phone and laptop for Christmas. Um, but they're, I don't know, they're not like the most meaningful thing. I definitely had an answer when I came up with this. Ugh. Instead, I'm going to tell you about my first ever gift from Sam for Christmas. So we started dating December 5th, which means we recently celebrated not only our three year wedding anniversary, which is today what I'm filming, but also our 12 year dating anniversary. And since it was December 5th, we weren't dating very long before Christmas, obviously. And also like we had lived on campus and then had gone home. So we didn't see each other for like a week or two of those 20 days before Christmas. And we ended up like meeting back at school um, for like a New Year's, I guess, or just like to see each other. And I didn't actually get Sam anything that first year. But he got me a bar of chocolate. Love it. I don't know if there was a special bar. I can't remember the bar. And he also got me a turtle stamp that said hooray. So it was like a wooden block stamp. And it was a turtle jumping and saying hooray. And I think he also got me a purple uh, ink pad. So I'm going to say that that was my favorite. Because that was very cute. And... At that point, we literally had been dating for like two weeks, essentially, because we hadn't seen each other. So I thought that was very sweet. And our actual, like we met up to go to the movies and we saw Princess and the Frog in theaters. So there we go. That's probably one of my favorites. I can't really think, it's hard because obviously like I love giving gifts, I love getting gifts, but I don't know. Nothing is really sticking out as like the one best gift ever. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Like it's just the whole experience of Christmas altogether is the best. It's not any specific item. So number eight, 
if you were an elf, what would your name be? So I kind of feel like Danny Buttons is a good elf name because in real life, nobody calls me Danny and I always go by Danielle. So I feel like Danny's like the cuter version already. And Buttons makes sense. Like, I don't know what other standout words would feel better. Like Jolly Buttons. Jingle buttons. I like making weird sounds. Glitter buttons. I don't know. I feel like buttons is pretty cute. So I'm going to stick with Danny Buttons. If you have a better name for me, please let me know in the comments down below. So. Then number... Oh, this one's a spoiler too. Number nine is your favorite Christmas movie. So again, every Saturday I'm doing a top 10 where I'm telling you 10 of my favorite things and this is going to spoil those things but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to spoil the one that's going up on Christmas Day which is my top 10 favorite animated Christmas movies and I'm just going to tell you number one so you're still going to have to watch the video but my number one favorite Christmas movie is Mickey's Christmas Carol and I know this is also Sarah's favorite movie from Chronic Coloring Down Under so that's pretty funny but I just have always loved Mickey's Christmas Carol. I watch it throughout the whole year and it's short and sweet and great. And I used to have it on VHS and I can tell you like where all the commercial breaks are. And my VHS, cause I had it, it was like a recording from TV. And my VHS had all the commercials, which was a lot of fun too, because some of the commercials are funny. So that is my favorite. I love tons of Christmas movies. I watch at least one Christmas movie a day from the 1st through to the 25th. So let me do these eyes and say what I'm talking about. So for me, how I do the eyes is I always do, now I'm scared, like what if I'm forgetting it? I always do this part black. So I do the big part black and then I'm gonna do this part in color, which you'll see in a second. I should have brought out a color. So that already makes it look so much better to me because Lily was talking about all like the extra little circles going on. So this part all black and then let's get a color out. I always like to do very light green eyes. I do this big part in whatever color we're picking. And I feel like that makes sense. And then these are just, it is a double like shine spot, but I don't feel like it looks weird anymore. To my eye at least. What do you think? Make sense? Maybe? Dunno. So that is that. Okay, next Number 10 is your favorite Christmas coloring book. This is hard also. Also, let me pick a color. I think I'm gonna do, I'm talking all about how I love the traditional colors and I think I'm gonna do purples and blues. So let me pick a purple for the bow. Um, are you drying out or are you gonna make it? I hope you make it. Oh, I don't know if that's gonna make it. I'm gonna pick a different color, ay ay ay. Everything's drying out. I need to break open my third pack. I think this is also the same answer as Meg's because she colored out of this book, which was the Jade Summer Cute Christmas book. That's the style of that book is just adorable. This one that I'm coloring in right now might also be a top contender. The Camellia and Jacoba miniatures, just because I love Camellia and Jacoba miniatures so much. And I just think they're so fun. And I'm gonna buy any miniatures she puts out, unless she puts out a whole book of bird miniatures. I probably would not buy that, but anything else, I'm gonna buy it and I'm gonna color in it. I would really love to like one day finish one of these miniature books, but there's so many pages. Like that's what's so incredible about her books is that there's so many pages. They're all so cute and unique. And she keeps the prices so low. I don't want her to like hear that and raise them. But even if she did, I would still buy them. But don't do it. 
but but if you if you needed to so <laughs> yeah that's that's my answer so either this one I mean it's hard because I've only had this for about half an hour or cute Christmas by Jade Summer are my favorite Christmas coloring books and I'm so that's my favorite to like color in because a lot of Creative Havens books are gorgeous and the artwork is stunning but I just don't have the patience to color in them because they're so detailed and as much as I like love looking at them I'm never in the mood to actually take that much time to color especially in December so I like the easy quick fun ones with the cuties in them I like this book so there's that all right where are we number 11 okay when do you start decorating your home for Christmas so I decorate outside after Thanksgiving and we get a live tree for the living room so that we usually get also after Thanksgiving this year as of filming I don't have it yet and I'm devastated <laughs> um we usually we literally go the Friday after but two three years in a row we've had issues with our tree not doing great like one year we had to buy a second live tree because it died too early in the season so we decided to wait an extra week this year and we're actually getting it the fourth and I'm very sad about it. But as for the other decorations, I start putting them up the day after my birthday, which is November 4th. So basically I have like Halloween decorations up and then whatever my birthday party is that year. And then we jump right into Christmas. So I would be even earlier, but usually whatever my birthday party is, is themed and usually it has its own decor. So it just makes me so happy. And I don't think there's any problem with that. You want to put your decor up early, you should do it. And it's so funny because I've been thinking about it. And I was getting sassy for a while this year when people were like mad at people for decorating early. A lot of people decorate for Halloween in like August. Maybe not in your life, but in my life. I'm like, what? If you decorate for Halloween in August, that means your Halloween decor is up longer than your Christmas decor? That doesn't make sense. Even if you decorated like for Halloween, October 1st, and you decorated for Christmas, December 1st, that's still longer with your Halloween decorations. And for me, Christmas is my number one holiday, so I want my Christmas decorations up longer. But I also found out that I might take mine down earlier than other people. So you'll have to let me know that too, because I was talking to Emily and she's like, oh yeah, just keep it up forever. But we take ours down on December 6th. Again, in large part, it's because I have a living tree. And you really can't keep that up forever. Because it will die. <laughs> so that helps push me along in the undecorating process. So last year, we actually had a like blizzard the first week of January. So I ended up taking my outdoor decorations down before that and it was good because a lot of people were stuck with their decorations like throughout most of February because it was all snow covered but I do like the inflatables so I didn't want it to get destroyed in all the snow so yeah number 12 eggnog delicious or disgusting I'm team disgusting I have tried a few times I'm actually gonna try again because for my Christmas party apparently I need eggnog and I did get alcoholic eggnog and non-alcoholic eggnog. I've never had alcoholic eggnog. I don't like alcohol in general, so I don't know why I would assume it would be better, but it's called Old Santee and that's adorable. And also as I walked by, I was like, wow, Old Santee. And like three different people were like, that's delicious. And I was like, oh, okay. So I bought some Old Santee alcoholic eggnog and I'm gonna give it another shot, but I have yet to have a good experience with it. So, I am sorry if you are team eggnog. But also, no, I'm not because I'm team candy corn and you all made fun of me. So, your stuff sucks. <laughs> all right. Number 13. Have you ever gone Christmas caroling? No, ma'am. I am anxious. So, I like to just sing in the comfort of my home. 
and I sing and I cry as I watch all the Christmas movies, but I've never gone out caroling. Um, I'm sad because I didn't even, I know in high school my choir did it, but I wasn't in choir in high school because to be in choir, you like miss classes sometimes. And I was like, no, I can't miss classes. So I didn't join choir, which that was pretty silly. <laughs> What a goody goody. So, no, I have not caroled. I think my cousin did once. I remember she and like her friend went caroling on rollerblades. So, or I could be mixing two things up because I also kind of remember the rollerblading being something weird for like Valentine's Day. So I have no idea, but she does cool stuff all the time. So it wouldn't be surprising to me. I do also remember once her hiding from carolers that came to her door and that was fun too. So, okay. Number 14 is your favorite Christmas character. Example, snowmen, gingerbread people, etc. My favorite is my guy, Santa. I'm a big Santa fan. Love Santa. I was figuring I'd have to say a lot about this, but there's not much to say. I just love Santa. I love all the ways that he gets portrayed all of his little cutesy animations i love vintage santa i don't really like vintage style overall i'm just not drawn to it a lot but i love a good vintage santa i love a good chubby santa i love them all super cute so santa is my guy and is my favorite i have so many santas around my house of all different styles I get a giant, like, three-foot Santa every year. That's from CVS, of all places. And this year, I got... Um... Oh, again, you probably saw this yesterday. But I got Vacation Santa, which is one I've been wanting to add to my collection for a while. So that was exciting. But yeah. All right, number bonus. So I guess kind of number 15, but the bonus one is... What is your favorite Christmas memory? All right, so again, I thought about this when I saw Meg's and the first one that came to my mind is the one I'm gonna stick with. I have many Christmas memories because I very much intentionally try to make this time of year a memorable time. I just, it's a good excuse to be happy. So I go with it. But the memory that has stuck out in my brain and the one I'm going to tell you about and I may cry, we'll see. But when I was younger, I was probably, I'm trying to think, I think I still lived in the old house. I was probably like seven. I think I was, like I was super young and my mom and I had gone to BJ's, which is a wholesale club like Costco and Sam's Club type place. I don't know how far reaching BJ's are, I can never tell. And we got a new angel for the tree and we didn't have the tree yet so but we got the angel and we sat and plugged the angel in and sat on the floor and like sang christmas carols in the dark to this angel and i don't know why we did that but it was just very meaningful and like again i might cry thinking about it i don't think we ever did that before or after but i just very vividly remember sitting on the floor and singing to this angel and it was very cute and sweet and uh, I'm sad, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> but that is my favorite Christmas memory. So I have lots, that was a good one. And I kept that angel, but she since retired from the tree because she got worn out. So she was relieved of tree duties, but now I just use her as decor in other places. So there we go, that is it. I didn't completely finish, but I got pretty close. So I think we're good to finish the video. Um, and again, I tag Emily, Kathy, and Lily, who will all be linked down below, as well as Meg, who I thank so much for creating this fun tag. I cannot wait to hear more answers from everybody else. Um, again, I might have already seen all the answers since I'm uploading this so late, but that's it. So hopefully you enjoyed. I just have the scarves to do and the ears. Should I just do them? I should just do them. Let's just do them. Let's not be silly. We'll just do our outro a second time. That's too dark. <sighs> Are you lighter? Not really. How did that not get any lighter? We'll just use the same ear color then 
for both ears. Also, I don't understand. Only red, if you can see on his ear, there's like some red that rubbed off and it's on my hand. And this only happens with red alcohol markers. Like the whole point of the alcohol markers is they're supposed to be permanent and not get all over. But the red ones always do. So, sheesh. So, I hope you've been enjoying my video a day. I'm pretty pleased with it so far. Only two videos released, but they're fun. And I'm gonna do a blue and another purple for our scarves. Hello, Miss Noodles. Oh, she faked me out. I thought she was coming here, but she's not. Ugh, everything's drying. Sam is typing away like crazy back there. So loud. And this is his quieter <gasps> keyboard. So we'll see. I don't even know if I'm gonna make it through this scarf. What decisions have I made? Uh, look at that, <gasps> disgusting. Noodles, I have one minute left and then I will play with you. Isn't that exciting? We'll film some footage for your vlog. Noodles is vlogging this week. That's cool. Beautiful. So, all right, we've made it. That will be it for me. If you made it through this video, I guess our secret word will be scarf. I feel like they just present themselves to me. I don't think we've ever used scarf before. I also don't think there's a scarf emoji, but that would be surprising if there was. So leave those down below if they exist. And yes thumbs up this video if you liked it comment anything you want to comment down below including our secret word scarf subscribe if you haven't i'm a fun time and i'm putting up one video every single day all month of december and actually sometimes more than one video because i put this flip up that was the second video that day so stick around if you enjoy and I forgot that part of his scarf. Cool. Stick around if you enjoy. I'll be back again tomorrow with something new. Thank you again, Meg, for the fun, fun tag. Everybody else, I hope I see your answers. If you don't make videos, feel free to answer down below. And voila, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, friends, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.